Synthetic cathinols, more commonly known by the street name bath salts, are human-made stimulants chemically related to cathino, a substance found in the cat plant. Cat is a shrub grown in East Africa and Southern Arabia. Human-made versions of cathino can be much stronger than the natural plant product and, in some cases, very dangerous. Synthetic cathinols usually take the form of a white or brown crystal-like powder and are sold in small plastic or foil packages, labeled not for human consumption. They can be labeled as bath salts, plant food, jewelry cleaner, or phone screen cleaner. Synthetic cathinols are part of a group of drugs that concern public health officials called New Psychoactive Substances, or NPS. NPS are unregulated psychoactive mind-altering substances with no legitimate medical use and are made to copy the effects of controlled substances. They are introduced and reintroduced into the market in quick succession to dodge or hinder law enforcement efforts to address their manufacture and sale. Synthetic cathinols are marked as cheap substitutes for other stimulants such as amphetamines and cocaine. Here's a few answers concerning questions about synthetic cathinols. How do people use synthetic cathinols? People typically swallow, snort, smoke, or inject synthetic cathinols. How do synthetic cathinols affect the human brain? Much is still unknown about how synthetic cathinols affect the human brain. Researchers do know that synthetic cathinols are chemically similar to drugs like amphetamines, cocaine, and MDMA. A study found that common synthetic cathinols affect the brain in a manner similar to cocaine, but is at least 10 times more powerful. MDPV is the most common synthetic cathino, found in the blood and urine of patients admitted to the emergency room after taking bath salts. What effects does synthetic cathinols produce? Paranoia, extreme and unreasonable distrust of others hallucinations, experiencing sensations and images that seem real but are not, increased friendliness, increased sex drive, panic attacks, excited delirium, extreme agitation and violent behavior. Synthetic cathinols and molly or ecstasy. Molly, slang for molecular, refers to drugs that are supposed to be the pure crystal powder form of MDMA. Usually purchased in capsules, molly has become more popular in the past few years. Some people use molly to avoid additives such as caffeine, methamphetamine, and other harmful drugs found commonly in MDMA pills sold as ecstasy. Law enforcement sources have reported that molly capsules contain harmful substances including synthetic cathinols. For example, hundreds of molly capsules have been tested in two South Florida crime labs in 2012 containing methylone, a dangerous synthetic cathinone. Raised heart rate, blood pressure, and chest pain are some of the other health effects of synthetic cathinones. People who experience delirium often suffer from dehydration, breakdown of skeletal muscle tissue, and kidney failure. The worst outcomes are associated with snorting or needle injection. Intoxication from synthetic cathinose has resulted in death. Users have reported that the drug triggers intense, uncontrollable urges to use the drug again. Taking synthetic cathinols can cause strong withdrawal symptoms that include depression, anxiety, tremors, problems sleeping, and paranoia. Much is still unknown about how the chemicals in synthetic cathinols affect the human brain. No medications are currently available to treat addiction to synthetic cathinols. For more helpful information regarding the subject of addiction, please contact us at the Institute for Addiction Study. 
you can find our link in the description. 